Hi guys, and a super Merry Christmas to you. I hope you've been enjoying all of my Christmas videos I've been putting up. If you've missed any, then just have a little look and you'll find them easy enough. Now, if you're a new subscriber that's just come over from Talk Becky Talks channel, I hope you're enjoying them all and be sure to check out all of my back catalogue, which now goes back for a whole year. So the other day, Becky came into the kitchen and we made these, they're stained glass biscuits. We had heaps of fun in the kitchen making them. They're super easy and here's how we did it. To make them, you'll need a portion of cookie dough. Now this is the same dough I use in my 3D Christmas trees. And if you click the little video link here, it'll take you to a video that'll show you how to make it. Now in this recipe, I'll be coloring them in different colors to make lots of interesting biscuits. And if you keep watching, you'll see what colors I chose. You'll also need some hard boiled sweets in a selection of colors. Okay, to get started, Sprinkle a little corn flour over the surface. Now corn flour won't change the colour of your dough. And remember, some on your rolling pin as well. Roll this out until it is about the thickness of the pan coin. Keep That's about three millimetres. Roll tight. Roll tight. Take the bigger of your cutters and start cutting out your biscuits. Then use the smaller cutter for the window panes. And remember, your hands will be covered in corn flour. Then place your biscuits on a lined baking tray. I thought it's cinnamony. Yeah. That's a lemony one in the next colour. Then repeat the rolling and the cutting with all the other colours you've got. Don't forget the hole for your ribbons. I find using a drinking straw to cut this out works a treat. Then grab yourself some boiled sweets and crush them down. Brutally, but gently. Sprinkle some of the shards into the gaps in your biscuits. If any of the sprinkles get on the biscuit dough, just brush them off with a pastry brush. Then off to the oven we go. Funny walks optional, but highly recommended. Pop them into a preheated oven at 160 Celsius. Yeah. Bake them for around eight minutes before letting them cool. They'll be soft to the touch when they first come out, but they'll soon firm up. Gently add your ribbon, and now they're all ready to hang and also ready to eat. Oh, it's crumbly. Oh. Good. Oh, fruity. Fruity with a hint of cinnamon. Mm. Let's go. That's the best. Easy, hey? And be sure to check out the two new recipes I've got coming between Christmas and New Year. And that is chocolate fudge, isn't it? And New Year nougat. Both great recipes. Thank you so much for the support you've shown me over the last year. Myself, Sydney Doug here, a minion behind the camera. I've had a blast making these videos and I promise you there's lots more yummy stuff to come in 2015. Now, as ever, come back for seconds, but in the meantime, have a great Christmas. Mwah. Have a great Christmas. Wait till I'm bye. Say bye. Say goodbye.